Welcome back to Investor Intel with a brand new story for you. Today we have Cameron King of Van Gould Mining. Welcome, Cameron. Well, thanks for having me. Where are you today? I'm in uh, Guanajuato, uh, Mexico at the uh, the mine office. Where's Guanajuato? Where, what part of Mexico is Guanajuato in? Guanajuato is in the actual center of Mexico. It's seven hours from, East Co the, from either coast and about three hours northwest from Mexico City. Right. That's a historic mining district, isn't it? Yeah, from uh, the 1550s, it was one of the first um, large mining areas of all, of all of Mexico. And if I understand correctly, the property that you have, uh, El Pinguico, is a historic mining asset itself. Yes, it uh, was uh, one of the highest grade producing mines in the uh, turn of the century. And it ran from 1906-1913. It was uh, forged a shutdown from a little uh, revolution out here in Mexico that... Uh, pitchforks, pitchforks and machetes chased all the Americans and Brits and the Spanish away. So, and it's been sitting there for a hundred years and uh, owned by one family, and uh, they kept it. And we made the, the acquisition uh, on December 14th last year, and it was approved by the exchange in April this year. Uh, do you have access to the historical mine production records? Do you have a? Our database is very significant in all the assays, the tunnels, the method of mining. Uh, the grades, the old reports, we have a whole, that was basically why we uh, acquired the property was the historical data on the high grade and the system that was all developed around here. So it's a mi mining, mining's in the DNA of this area, that's for sure. Well, I, I don't know if you chose that spot in particular for the interview, but I see what looks like a GAN chart behind you for Van Gold Mining. Yeah, that's our uh, timelines. Uh, we've... Uh, I, uh, I work by results, um, results planning instead of planning and all that. So we, we pick dates out in the future, work back, and we say this is the date we're going to meet it by. Um, we started that uh, with the, with our team and our directors in end of March, April, and we're right on schedule with our strategy. So the hmm. overall corporate strategy is you have a variety of assets in Mexico. You're going to use this asset to generate relatively near-term cash to then fund the other assets. Yeah, and further expansion of Benguico. I mean, it's uh, we're sitting on 200,000 metric tons of surface, 500,000 metric tons um, uh, underground. How many samples year. did you take, Kim? Uh, we did 12 trenches and around 50 samples for grade for the grade control, and a large bulk sample is being done first week of January. Do you know where that uh, surface rock came from? Can you track it historically to where it came from underground? Yeah, uh, yeah it came from uh, driving the Benguico shafts. It was the first job, started in 1902-1903, and it punched right through the, um, uh, the Pinguico vein uh, down to 350 meters. So all that ore is brought up to the surface and cleaned out, so that's where it's dumped. So the grade goes from 0.8 up to uh, 6 grams of gold equivalent. So that's why we have to go through a grading strategy to see how we, uh, we blend the ore uh, to get that consistent grade of the milk. So Van Gold issued a press release in the middle of November stating its intention to do a sampling program. Included in there was a reference to the eighth level. Did you get down there? Uh, the gentlemen, uh, the mine crews are down working two shifts a day. Uh, they started the fourth. Uh, they're working their way down to the sixth this week. Uh, they intersected the underground stockpile at the fourth level and the fifth, uh, which would be around 140 meters below surface. Uh, sixth level will be reached this week, we're hoping. Uh, from then, they'll start cleaning it out and start doing safety checks to get down to the seventh and eighth level. So, if you understand, an old mine, safety is our paramount concern uh, when they're entering these things after 100 years. It's amazing that all of that, uh, the stopes and everything is still available after 100 years. It must be very settled rock like doing work in northern Ontario. Uh, you have to, uh, the pictures I sent you earlier, take a look at those from a recent site visit we did. And it's just uh, amazing to see the size of the, the stopes. Uh, they go from three meters wide to 17 meters wide, and you'll have a 90 meter stope over your head. All the work is all mined out. And it's just, it's, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. So this is silver and gold. Um, Correct. So yeah, I would guess on. that the, the next major milestone would be the release of that sampling program. And I'm assuming that in that press release, you'll tell us what your next steps are after that. Yeah, we'll uh, be putting a news, an update news release out uh, in the next couple of days uh, to let everybody know where we are and where we, what we expect in our timelines. 
which is important. Um, and our big thing is to get the the underground stockpile sampling program um, underway. Uh, we have a drill rig uh, being moved in now, which we're going to uh, put it into one of the parallel veins to the Pinguico and drill out of that. And there's four drilling stations now set up. It's a small little rig. It's going to drill NQ and it uh, will should receive about seven, eight hundred meters across the stockpile. Tell us about Van Gold's capital structure. Uh, capital structure right now, we're sitting on 51 million uh, shares issued after um, uh, three finances. We're in the middle of a small a financing now. Um, there's on top of that 35 million warrants at uh, 25 cents. So our goal is to get the stock price up by fundamentals, by proving what we have and the value of the ore underground and plus uh, cash flow coming in. Hopefully exercise those warrants over the next six months was bring around seven to eight million dollars into the till. Helps with a nice financing there for drilling campaign at surface right. for Q and Q2. Um, fully diluted, I think, with all our options around 80, 81 million thereabouts, 80 million. Okay. Well, we'll be keeping an eye on that press release next week when it comes out. And I thank you very much for your time. Excellent. Appreciate it. Check in with you soon. All the best. Take care.